Okay, so uh, there is a uh, new Pandora's box, official Pandora's box six. And I came across this, oddly enough, in a random search for something completely different. And I came across the official uh, YouTube of Pandora's Box, the 3A game store. They have another game store, uh, two official game stores. So if you want to know, uh, if you're looking at something that's official, they are on AliExpress. That's their only stores. They have two. 3A is one of them. I forgot what the other one is, but yeah, there is a now an official Pandora's box six. They mentioned they said it was more more uh, more powerful than the original, uh, not the original, the five. But I was looking at the specs, and it seems like they're exactly the friggin' same. So I don't know if there's something different in the specs. Uh, I I didn't see it. Uh, looks like the same processor, same everything as the five. The difference here is that this has a few differences, mostly in software. One of them is that it carries a PlayStation 1 emulator, so you can actually play some ports of arcade games, um, like 3D games and stuff like that. So another thing is that they do put on Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. But yeah, the problem is with that is that it's a... PlayStation emulator and there's a PlayStation emulator and they use two three and four version those are the PlayStation versions however you can add your own games so if you want to just as long as it works there's no weird bugs you should be able to go online and download Mortal Kombat 2 3 2 and 3 mostly I'm sure 4 would run like shit but 4 sucked anyways so yeah uh, so you can get two and three, and you can throw it on there, possibly Ultimate uh, Mortal Kombat three, and put it onto the Pandora's box six. Uh, one of the downsides, kind of, it's not hard to, apparently to do this, uh, to set this up, but one of the downsides, and this started with the uh, later on with the Pandora's box five, due to copyright reasons apparently that they apparently now have apparently in. China, I don't know. Maybe I missed that. I don't know. But uh, they said that there's uh, that they cannot include the game files on the actual box itself. So whereas before you could actually just buy the box, sit your ass down, plug it into the TV like any other plug and play system, and play it on the TV. Uh, now you actually have to go to um, their support, uh, and they have to give you a link to the uh, download of the games. And then you load it up onto a USB drive that I believe they include. And then you can, you know, play your games. But on top of that, you can also load up new games. Like I said, you can load up any game you want. And there's PlayStation support. So there's that. Um, and like I said, they said it's more powerful. But everything I'm looking at, it looks exactly the same as far as the specs go. Um... So, there were some other things. Oh, yeah, they did add some software tweaks, some cool little software tweaks to allow you to um, get through things a little easier. So, they have genres. You can search by genre, or you can search through alphabetical order there. You can also change the resolution. So, uh, you can switch to a 4x3 resol resolution if you would like using, I think the method was... By holding the settings button, hitting the power button, then holding the settings button for two more seconds and releasing it. And then that should change the resolution. And there's three supported resolutions. So you should be able to get 4x3 working even if you don't have the settings on your TV. Um, and here we have the, um, the layout. It's a button layout. It shows, uh, you know what you would get if uh, you plugged it into the corresponding consoles um, this is how it's mapped out so you can plug this into a PS3 I guess an Xbox It's showing Xbox but it didn't mention Xbox so I guess it just works as an X input controller I think it would mention Xbox 360 though I don't know uh, but yeah so it shows this is X this is B blah 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 and we have two start buttons <laughs> um, yeah, and then then what? 
so there's different designs I purchased this one except no no LEDs on the buttons I don't like the glowing LEDs and if I could save money by getting rid of a feature I don't want then of course I'm gonna go with it so there you go um, so yeah the highest resolution is normal like uh, the 720p resolution um, I don't know exactly what this is made out of, but it looks like it's just a plastic box, like, like you would get with a regular fighting stick, like, I mean, the, the clone I have is, uh, it's got an acrylic top, and it's got, uh, the bottom is metal, and it's a uh, really nice construction. This one, from what I saw on, on videos on the internet, looks like it was just a regular plastic box, um, yeah, so... Yeah, so I'm going to show the specs. I believe they're the same, really. It was weird because they said they were more power. It was more powerful, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, if I can find the specs. That are the specs. Right here. So we have... This is uh, about the same unless there's a difference in clock speed or something. I don't really see any kind of... Um, difference here as opposed to the original so and this is uh the motherboard so if you wanted to change something around or add something or take something away you can see how it's uh laid out i don't understand why they put this big cpu fan here it's a mobile chipset and i don't see that they would need that really i mean it's just going to make a bunch of noise possibly suck power from the motherboard that's completely unnecessary unless it's sitting in this giant fucking um, uh, case that's like got plenty of airflow I don't see that they really need a fan but maybe that's just to shut people up I have no clue I just don't see a reason for that fan to be there yeah, it does, it's not like it's a uh, GTX 1080 or something it's just a little mobile chipset so, yep. So I don't know about the buttons. I'm assuming are the normal low quality shitty buttons and sticks that they get. So you probably want to change some the stick, especially. You might want to change out for something like a Sanwa or whatever. Even a uh, high quality clone would be better. I uh, I've been using my clone Pandora's box for a while, and I gotta say that stick is shit. Um, I actually recently bought a Sanwa to replace it with, but then when I found the Pandora's Box 6 uh, was out and I started reading what you could do with it, I was like, oh, and then I was like, well, I'll save the Sanwa stick for the uh, actual Pandora's Box 6 instead of using it in the clone. So, this is that. Um, there's a few videos on... Uh, Online, not a lot, because it's a fairly new thing that hasn't made its way to the U.S. really yet. So you're not going to find like all these videos in English about this. Um, but yeah, and honestly, if you don't need it or want to play any Mortal Kombat games, or you don't want to play any 3D stuff or any of that, uh, and you just want the 2D stuff, honestly, the clones are just fine. I, I mean... I didn't really have a problem with the clone as far as uh, performance or anything. It just looked, it was about the same, except it had more games on it. And uh, what else? There was something else. There was some other, uh, there was something. Some of them, the clones, you can even add games to, so. But this, um, more powerful, it, had, it you can play Mortal Kombat on it. And if you could, if I can get all the Mortal Kombat's loaded up on here properly, and play them like an arcade machine, that would be great. And also add games like, uh, you know, all, all the games that aren't on my clone. If I can add that, and they can play, play NBA Jam or whatever else on this, that would be really awesome. And uh, yeah load it up with Rampage and see if that works because my clone doesn't have Rampage so it's really cool 
Um, and I will be, this probably will take a very long time to get to me. I mean, it is shipping through, um, DHL, but, uh, I would imagine it's probably still going to take a while, uh, to get to me. <laughs> uh, so when I get that, I'm going to show that on YouTube and I will be posting gameplays and whatever else that I need to do. However, I need to do it. And then I'm going to actually give away my clone to my uh one of my people that lives in my building loves this shit that I, that I get <laughs> so and he's poor so I like to give this to him or give them the clone so that will be cool and I think that's about it the you know said so that's the one issue is that it doesn't come preloaded with the games anymore so you have to deal with the company, and I'm a little concerned about, uh, like, the language barrier possibility. I'm hoping that that won't be a problem. So, thanks for watching.